Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we'll look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 16.2.32. This new test version of Windows 10 is part of the default Kyrgios update which is expected to release in later 2017. While this is not a significant update, there are a few new improvements. So let's have a closer look at the most worthy changes for this build. Regarding to the uh, operating system changes, there are only two things that you will find on Windows 10 build 16.2.32. On the settings app, on apps, you will notice that the uh, video playback has been moved to uh, this section. Previously, the same uh, page was located on personalization and that's no longer the case. On File Explorer, you will now notice that using the uh, format tool and you're trying to format a drive using NTFS, the allocation unit size now has been expanded and you can use uh, a lot of different allocation sizes up to 2048 kilobytes. In this update, Windows Defender Security Center is introducing two new features, including control folder access and exploit protection. Control folder access can be found on virus and threat protection under virus and threat protection settings. Control folder access is a new security feature to make it easier to protect your data from malicious programs and threats like ransomware. When enabled, Control Folder Access monitors the changes that apps make to your files. If the app tries to modify the files inside of a protected folder and the app is blacklisted, you will get notified of the uh, suspicious activity. By default, the uh, new security feature protects your documents, pictures, movies, and desktop folders but you can always click the uh, protected folders link and from this page you can add new locations if you're storing files on a different folder on your computer. In the case an app you trust is being blocked by this feature, you can click the uh, allowed an app through control folder access link and on this page you can whitelist uh, the app so it doesn't get uh, blocked by this feature. On app and browsing control, you can now audit, configure and manage Windows system and application exploit mitigation settings right from the Windows Defender Security Center. And according to Microsoft, you don't even need to be using the uh, Windows Defender antivirus to take advantage of these settings. This is the uh, feature and to change the settings, simply click Exploit Protection Settings. And on this page, you can change the uh, system settings or you can click Program Settings to change the uh, Exploit Protection settings for each application. If you want to change the settings, simply click the uh, Edit button and here you can configure the application any way you need. And that's basically all that's new with the uh, Windows 10 build 16.2.32. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing.